we when we forced, start, we, yeah. when we first went to Scampia to see if the documentary was possible, we just brought a camera with us, but that images were su supposed to be in the film, and then Matteo had this, you know, like idea of matching, you know, the snow with the song and with the the, fo the, the buildings falling down. So I think that was a brilliant idea, and I didn't think, you know, at, at the beginning that. Uh, we will do this way, but he had this idea, so and I didn't. So you know, we so like the two of you are filmmakers. Yeah. What do you do? The rest. We do the same things <laughs> in the sense that we don't film, but we are there all the time uh, during the conception of the film, during the organizing also of the film as well. Maybe that's, uh, And, uh, and so we just, yes, we are just a group and uh, we talk a lot, we discuss a lot, maybe we fight a lot sometimes, <laughs> it's mine. And, uh, but the idea is, uh, is really that, as uh, Simone said, like, we just uh, have ideas, everyone, each one of us has some ideas. We think sometimes that they are the good ones, and the other ones, they say, not that much, <laughs> and uh, so we go we go further uh, together. But everyone has a kind of uh, specific view because uh, two of us are uh, art historians or work with the architecture and art. Uh, Federico is an anthropologist, uh, and so like we have different ways of looking at the film, and uh, we tried with this one to match the way we film and the way we edit it to the subject and uh, each time is a bit like this so uh, if you look at some uh, films we made before they are really different from this one and it was kind of a way of experimenting as well Martin, were you about to say something? you had the mic no, uh, no, no, I didn't want to say much more but yes, it's uh, as they said, it's, um, uh, the, the movie at the end is a good compromise of every um, uh, Art artistic point of view and will of each. Uh, yeah, there is one that is more like flying yes. clouds and going to the stars. <laughs> Another one is more like practical materialist and so. But for sure, it's longer to do a, a movie yeah, like this I can than, uh, yeah, I can by yourself. And the edit time is really important to us. Like we spent uh, yes, a month all together more uh, every day talking, trying to write it. And, uh, because we start with an idea and then we film it, and then everything changes. And we try to to be fair with what we felt and uh, also to the weight of uh, representing something that is really. Uh, not our reality, and I think that's also a strength not to be in this reality, to have the distance, to be able to... to but also something. to be kind enough and patient enough to let the subject matter space, basically. So, there was one question there. Buonasera, prima di tutto congratulazioni, è un, è un film pieno di umanità, eh, di più per noi quelli che abbiamo già visto Gomorra. Uh, I will now switch to English to be easier for everyone. Um, it, it's, it's an open-ended uh, open film, so I'm really curious to, to know what happened after that, and I think it will be helpful to know when it was filmed, so that we put it in context and to see if we are we are still to look for uh, for uh, development of the project um, or it's done and also what happened to the people there so you, you said there are about 100 families uh, did, uh, were they relocated or were they left to, to, to deal, it, uh, deal with it on their own thank you so the film was uh, made uh, during four years uh, we started in uh, 2016, I think, 17, and we ended in uh, 2020. 
just before uh, the epidemic of uh, COVID. 21. No, 2020. Last ah, yes, with the editing, yes. I was thinking about filming. So the last scene uh, we shot was the first one you saw. Uh, that is the destruction of this sail. Um, these sails, as Federico told uh, before, were built during the, 70, the 60s and the 70s uh, as a social housing uh, project. The name of the film, Interno 167, 167 is the name of uh, is the number of a law uh, that was made after the Second World War in Italy, which allowed to make social housing projects. And so it's the way we we, we wanted to call uh, this uh, this film because it's the way the people who live there call the city 167. So there were many cells, I don't remember how many, six at the beginning. Uh, at the end of the 90s, two cells were destroyed because it was a kind of problem already in the 90s because, in fact, these cells were built as a social house, but in the 80s there were an earthquake, earthquake in Naples, and so many, many families didn't found themselves without houses. So they went there and they occupied these houses. And so, uh, like, they were not, um, uh, they didn't have the right uh, to stay there. And so, since they didn't have the right to stay, they didn't have the, the right to have services that were uh, given by the, the city. And so that's why also this uh, buildings were left by the state and by the power uh, to themselves and that's why the Mafia and Camorra took the power and took the role of the state during these years. And so since they didn't succeed uh, since the 90s to, uh, to switch the, the way uh, to take them back, uh, they decided to destroy them. Uh, all the sails, uh, except one, that is the blue one, that will be uh, used as a, a of, yes, like a symbol of uh, the power, the, the, the Naples city uh, taking back the, the power on the on the place. Uh, how do you say? Mayor. Yeah, there, there will be like administration a district of Naples there with some houses as well. So to be shorter because I always talk a lot. Um, the house, the the sale that you saw were uh, destroyed, was destroyed. So the people who were there went in the other sales, but only the people who occupied the sale before. Uh, 2015. So all the people that were not uh, in this list uh, have no right have to no, be have no rights to be uh, relocated in uh, in this uh, social housing. Program. So what happened to them, though? So it's a big mess. Uh, they also because there are many people then that continue to uh, occupy the cells, new, new ones coming, 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 and so it's really uh, a problem to uh, find a solution for this. Is it, is it still a symbol of the evil, as you were... Yeah, sure, you, you told about, uh, you talked about Gomorrah. Uh, I don't know if everyone here knows about this. Uh, I think you can briefly explain it, yeah, just to make sure. In, uh, 2006, uh, an author, Roberto Saviano, wrote an essay about this district and uh, the power of mafia in Naples that was called Gomorra. They made a film about this and then they made a big series uh, about uh, all the, the sail uh, district that was called Gomorra. And in this series, they showed always the crime side, the death, the power, the domination, the gangs, it's kind of a show about this. So I don't remember why I started to talk about the moment. Huh? <laughs> uh, I, I was asking you what what's happening to the people who didn't have the right to stay there, and uh, also if the 
if the bell are left, it's oh, still yeah. a symbol of evil. Uh, yes, it's still, it's, it's still a symbol of evil, yes, sure. Because Gomorra is still there and... Uh, yes. Even if it's not... Even, even if it's not anymore, the, the situation of the 90s, when uh, it was really a uh, war, kind war. of war between districts, between gangs, and now it's really more, it's more peaceful. The mafia has been much more efficient to relocate their business uh, okay. than tie them from the uh, public system <laughs> to solve the problem. As it happens. No, uh, I mean, yeah, the first documentary we did in 2013 was made in Naples. And then we came back with another documentary that was made in Matera, Rome and Naples. And that's where we met Davide Cerullo, which is the, the man that uh, uh, introduced us to, to all the people in Scampia. And, and we, we worked with them, with the him. Uh, uh, we wanted to make with him this movie because he really felt, you know, like this, uh, uh, imagine, this need to show that Go, uh, Scampia is not uh, just uh, Camorra and Mafia and Gomorra. So, also the relationship with him, why, when we showed him the movie first, he wanted to, to really, he has this uh, romantic view of, Sc of Scampia as a lot of good, you know. But when we went there, we decided that we had to be more neut neutral, because yes, there is good, but there is also bad, as he said, Federico before the movie. And so when we showed him the, the, the film the first time, we were, we were really worried about his opinion. But then when we talk with him and we explain with him that we, I mean, every person has in this movie, you, you don't have like a story from the beginning to an end. You just see something and makes and make your own idea about the place uh, because this is the, the reality. I mean, we try to be more neutral and outsider as possible. And yeah. Yeah, that day is the guy that is riding the motorbike with a goat. <laughs> that's, that's the one. He's, he was, yeah, he used to work with the uh, Camorra when he was a kid until he was arrested. And uh, in jail, he discovered uh, like Pasolini and other books, and he started to study and learn uh, poetry, and uh, he changed his mind. So when he went out of jail, he started to, you know, try to not be against uh, mafia because it's very dangerous, but try to make people understand that there is another way, that school is good and everything, you know. Can you actually ever leave the Mafia? Yes. At least from my understanding, it was very, very difficult, right? Once you were in there, it was kind of a lifetime thing. As long as you don't, you know, make names and screw, screw up other people. Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, you, you can leave it. Was, was your um, intention at any point to fight stereotypes? against Scampia and, and uh, Naples in itself? Was that the purpose of the movie? Yes, it was. It was from the start. But it was not only not just to find uh, stereotypes, but to show, we wanted to show life as, as it is, I mean, as we could see it. So that's why he was saying uh, there is not a clear start and a clear end, because that's life, that's how the uh, how life is, you, you're, you're thrown in the middle and you have to find your way somehow. And so we wanted to talk about the life of the people of Scampia and of the life of the main character, that is the building, that we uh, keep showing that that was the point, to, show, to treat the, the buildings, the Vele, as one of the characters, as one of the, um, of the actors that uh, is shaping the life of the people, is the main one, yes. Is, is the one that is ruling the life there. It definitely is. Any other questions? Think about uh, Corviale, if you are one, if you want to do something similar, because they have more or less the same uh, story, different uh, placements, but uh, 
also brutalized buildings, also from the 17th and 60s projects. And uh, it's exactly what you're saying, fighting the, uh, this kind of stereotypes, because if you're going there, again, you can see what you're seeing here in Scampia. So I was wondering if you're interested in uh, Corbiale, do something similar. But first, tell us what, tell everyone yeah, maybe what Corbiale is. is. Um, so Cordiale is another um, situation similar to, to Scampia, but uh, in the outskirts of Rome, where they build like a huge, um, a huge uh, building for social housing again that is still uh, in, uh, still uh, used as um, as a social housing project, and that is really outside and is very impressive the uh, the situation because. The Vele, they has like, they had their own architectural value at least. Cordial is really uh, something ugly. Let's say it's an ugly building, and we visited him. It actually during one of our trip to Naples, we stopped there to see the situation and to try to uh, also to uh, learn something from the from the from the atmosphere. We are not planning actually to do another uh, documentary similar to this one because in Naples we had we had contact. Uh, I think that the the value of our work is due to the contact that we built during the the, the previous documentary with people actually in in Scampia that they um, they um, lead us inside. They they let us to to meet the real people because. In the same time, when we were there, a lot of other troops from television and uh, from bigger also television and or uh, national television came to 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 film to record other kind of works. But we tried to do something different and to work with the people. That's why it took a lot of time to go to meet the people, talk with them, live with them. Uh, and we can we couldn't do this. We, we would not, uh, would not be able to do something like that in Cordial because we don't have the contacts there. Any other questions? Um, I'm, I'm just curious, how did you sell the film to the people living in Scampia? I understand you had contacts, you've already been there, so they already kind of knew you, but still, what did you tell them? We're here, we're going to be around for, we don't know how long, and we just want to see you do your thing. Yes, I'll, like, Federico said a true thing, that this film uh, would not exist without David Sherwood, that was, was the contact, who was the key to uh, go uh, in the houses of every people you saw in the, in the film. And so we just, uh, through him and through uh, also the action he's uh, building since many years with kids in the neighborhood, we didn't have much to explain. We just like, went uh, in his shade, in a sense, and uh, we just explained that we wanted to uh, tell another story to tell a story that is just, as Simone has said, like life uh, that sometimes is boring, uh, sometimes is low, sometimes has no uh, like uh, a beginning or an end, <laughs> not big moments, but all these people have the rights to live as people, normal people. And so we wanted just to, uh, to, tell, to tell this and uh, we said that we didn't want to make something like Gomorrah and uh, when we said this everyone were saying yes we want, <laughs> we want, we need a representation that is not like the one of uh, the medias because as you see in the film when the uh, national uh, television goes uh, to film because uh, like, there are like flies, you know, uh, uh, when they destroy the, the seal. The reporter goes through the seals with a Louis Vuitton sack, bag, and asks how much is difficult to live here? What's, what's this question? 
they really they just search something that they have in mind and so we wanted to, to change and, uh, um, and the film is, is the result and in a sense is a documentary but it's a fiction as well because people uh, kind of acted their uh, daily lives and so uh, there is a kind of uh, it's a way also we took time to do this also to uh, let people be the actors of themselves and not just going there and say you do this you Yes, usually we, we told them to act as uh, usually, or maybe sometimes we, we, we ask them to reproduce what they do, like the hair cutter, or, uh, or the some, castle, yes. some scenes is, is, are things that we saw uh, during the, our stay there, and we just ask them to reproduce as uh, natural as possible. But uh, nothing they would not do on their own, no, basically. Not so. Yes. Okay. Which means that Napolitans are very yes, they're really expressive. Also, the kids, uh, they were enthusiastic. Yeah, <laughs> I think the kids were doing their own thing. You don't need to tell them anything. <laughs> Question there? Uh, hello, good evening, and thank you for this uh, very, I would say romantic, but it's not the right word. Uh, I dared to uh, raise hand for a question because you said fiction, and um, uh, I, I was wondering how uh, often you see a pool uh, in, uh, on the veils in Scampia. Because it was for me, it was so shocking to see the pool and the old lady going to swim there. For the kids, it was okay. I was like very. Uh, this is just a curiosity, and I uh, I want to make a comment. And if you would like to answer somehow, I would be grateful. For me, I saw the 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 image of an injection or the syringe, and I said, Oh, come on. It has to be something bad there. It cannot be just the light, right? It cannot be just Pulcinero, great story, amazing. And a very nice thing, of course. Where, where is the... Those people are coming and going to jail. Where is the other side of the story, right? Because life has many facets. This is what I lack from your film, which is very good. Thank you for this. Thank you. Uh, maybe I can answer for the first question. Um, there are many pools. There are some pools on the balconies because they are really big. Uh, and it's not surprising because the people there, they don't go on holidays, they don't go out of, of the district. And so they have everything there, and usually uh, all the family gives money to buy a swimming pool and come there in the summer or as soon as possible to enjoy the, the swimming pool. So it's not uh, shocking to see uh, swimming pools uh, in this, uh, in this uh, district. Uh, we actually had uh, great parties ourselves in the uh, <laughs> swimming pool of Scampia, also by night, like grilling on the balcony, having fun, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the second question then. And uh, the second question, question is, um, I mean, we wanted to show what we saw. We saw uh, an architecture that was completely left by the power and used by Camorra or Mafia to sell drugs. You can see this. We didn't uh, manage the uh, searing to be there. We just filmed it. But we wanted. We didn't want to put it uh, on the first foreground. Uh, for first plan. To be the main yeah. we, we, we discussed a lot about the yeah. images because we thought it was too much, you know, easy to put like you know the syringe there. I mean, I mean, we didn't put the syringe. It was too much easy to to put that images in in the, in the movie, you know. Yeah. 
maybe it was too much. I don't know. So we discussed a lot about yeah. that. I mean, even today, I think that sometimes I say, I say to myself, maybe we shouldn't have shown this image. Uh, but for the other side, uh, I think it's there in the sense that uh, you see uh, this place, it's, you see some images uh, that can make you think that something is, isn't, isn't right or something is wrong. Uh, the two characters that are like the comics ones uh, in the film, uh, the son and the mother are together because the son uh, was sentenced uh, for five years uh, to be in prison at home uh, with his mother. And so, uh, you know, uh, as Federico said, and that's the reason we didn't make a film about Corviale, our films uh, are always the result of uh, meetings. We met Davide, so we met his mother, we met his brother, we met you know, the people are of the family and so it was kind of, you know, like a, a trip for us going there and since we really wanted, we, we, we felt a lack of representation of this side, that is not the bright side, it's just a normal side of it. We didn't want to stress everything that just is stressed everywhere. Maybe here we don't feel it that much, but in Italy, if you think about Scampia, it's just about prison, it's just about drugs, it's just about, you know, yeah, bad and gang things. Like, rappers come all over Europe, uh, from all, all over Europe to shoot films there because, you know, it's the gangsta landscape. I, I really understand your uh, uh, technique, but uh, the immediate question is, from where do they have... Uh, 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 the immediate question actually it is how they earn their money to, to live, you know, how they buy food and how they, where do they work? Many people work as... Uh, yes, but as this is something that it lacks, of course they work. I didn't, sure. I didn't start from the idea that they do bad things, but I was just wondering where do they work? You see, for example, like uh, in the first part of the film, uh, a person who goes you know, in a place uh, to destroy some uh, washing machines. Uh, I mean, this place was closed one month after we shot the scene because of uh, because it was owned by Camara. Uh, but this pe person wakes. Up every morning at 6, 7 to go uh, just to work all the time, all the day long. And there are many people who are not working as well, and I think you can see this. Um, but the, I don't know, we just the, wanted the, to show what we... So. Um, it's an isolated uh, district, so it's not easy to... Um, to go to, to some job places for them and uh, usually they work in the around the district or in the district um, and the mafia give them gives them the, the jobs for instance the Carlo uh, works there because he had this job uh, from the mafia the mafia takes the place uh, of uh, uh, where there is no job when where there is no state to to take care of the people and, and there are almost in, not each family, but almost, there, there is someone that sells drugs. Here, under the, at the first floor of the sales, we didn't film them because it was not the, the subject, but... Um, the, uh, okay, you can see them, uh, like, in an uh, image, you see some uh, young people, like, going, working, uh, but maybe what, what it's interesting to, to tell you it's more like in, in a sense that it's more it's kind of circular economy <laughs> right there and all the film is about this if you see uh, like it's uh, kind of a loop you know you see also on a round point <laughs> like it's, it's, uh, Motorbike. motorbikes and uh, vehicles that uh, it's that takes it completely in a different way from uh, what you should take like a round point but 
Yes, it's a kind of uh, aquarium, you know, right there. And uh, and we wanted to yes to show it like if you see the air air hairdresser is working. It's not paid by someone uh, with a bill, <laughs> but it's like, going you know uh, to house from from house to, to house to 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 get hairs to people. There are some shops inside the houses. Uh, it's kind of. Uh, uh, place that is uh, self yes self-sustained in a sense, and uh, and there are people who fight uh, to be independent from the mafia, like Davide, who's not paid from the mafia, and who's trying to. Uh, and I think our film goes in this way to fight uh, like representations. Uh, like not pointing, okay, this one, look, this one is a mafia uh, dealer. Like, this person can have like, kids, and so Davide doesn't care if this person is dealing uh, drugs, uh, he takes his kid anyway. And so he lets him uh, be part of a community and maybe one day, uh, have the possibility to look at himself in the mirror as he made, because he was a drug dealer too, and change path. You see, if you say, okay, this one is like this, and so it's like this, I mean, we make many mistakes. For ourselves mistakes so. don't define you as a person. Yeah, that's that's a, a bit like the, the way we wanted to do this, because uh, that's really the, yes, the, the philosophy that leads uh, David to make what he does. As uh, you, you asked, like, how can you go out of the mafia? As Simone said, you don't have to throw names, you don't have to kill people as well, because when you kill someone, uh, you are inside forever. But David, he's out of mafia, and he's fighting mafia not with only with words, as state makes the most, and many people as well. Like, price of uh, fights, but he's fighting on the ground, like including people and uh, telling them, uh, look, I, I could change, you can do this as well. Can you say, just because she asked how they make money, I remember this time we were like filming and sometimes hearing like <laughs> from the balcony and there was, they explained us, there was this uh, old man that he was in house jailing, I don't know how to say, and house arrest house arrest and he was working from his balcony for the camera so he was on the top and every time he saw something you know like a police car he was like uh, whistle, whistle. whistle very very loud to 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 you know as a signal uh, to the dealers and he actually makes a lot of money i mean more than going to work like a normal job in italy yeah and um, it was uh, impressive how they treat this like, like a job. We were talking with a young guy and at some point he said, okay, I have to go, I have to work. And his work was staying in a corner and waiting people to sell drugs to them. But he, wasn't, he was saying, okay, oh, it's my time, I have to go to work. Another story is uh, two young kids, they, they stole a car and uh, Davide, who knows these kids, goes to, to find the car because he knows also the owner of the car and the kids say okay okay take the car back but but I mean give something to us we were working you know like, mm -hmm. like <laughs> straight like, yeah like for answer. I would also add something very quickly maybe a, a half an answer to your question less is more in storytelling I guess so when you want to make a film about everything it ends up being about nothing um, so I've learned that lesson the hard way so uh, one last very quick question uh, from me. Um, do you think the, the spirit uh, of the community has been lost when the, the buildings were torn down? That, that good side of, of, of uh, Scampia, the, the community feeling, feeling that they had managed to build. Is um, the process is still going on. So I was saying, you know, thanks to the inefficient of the Italian public system, we had the time to, to film the movie because 
um, actually it took a much longer time than it was to post to, uh, to take and it's still going on so a community still exists there but it's also I, I don't want to make to say I mean I don't want to give the impression that there is a super strong community there. It's also all the lives of the people is very fragile, the situation. And some people, some of our characters disappear during the movie because they disappear during time. They, they just stop living there, they didn't give an explanation. Or maybe they didn't want to give us an explanation and they left because all the situation is uh, fragile. I mean, they, uh, they live as, the, as you see, so some, some prob problems come up all the time. Um, so there is a part of the community that it's that it is fighting it's for um, for the sales to be destroyed and replaced to something better for them but there is also part of the community that didn't want to uh, to uh, didn't want this to happen they uh, they build some kind of connection with the sales so you saw uh, that the two uh, main characters like Davide and the woman that is acting instead is saying, "Oh, we, I'm on, I'm on, I'm with the major. I want this." To, they were actually uh, husband and wife. That now they're divorced, but uh, not not for not because of this. Right. So um, there is two sides also in the community. I mean, there's two. Uh, so I think they, it, something still exists there. I don't know what is gonna happen when all the process will be, will be finished. But it's true that the spirit of the community is going to be a bit uh, broken when they will live in another place, because they will win in material um, um, comfort, but all the spirit that is really also due to the architecture, because you, you saw that there are some uh, uh, all the apartments are uh, connected each other, with the stairs and the um, streets yes, inside the buildings. And this is going to be lost when they will be uh, relocated uh, in other places. Well, thank you. Was there something else? <laughs> well, well, then let's just hope that the bad side of the spirit disappears and the good side of the spirit, the community spirit, uh, lives up. Yeah, but it's really complex. I just wanted to say this, that that's really complex and uh, there is no good, uh, like, it's difficult to say, you know, this is the bright side or the dark side. They are, uh, they are sometimes interwoven and, uh, and so the film tried to also uh, show this. Like, it's, reality is really complex and we cannot uh, explain this with a film. We just have kind of perspective or uh, some uh, lightings, you know? <laughs> opening uh, the door or maybe yeah. shedding some yes. other light on the, on the area. Well, thank you so much for being here and thank you for staying uh, so late much. and uh, hope to see you over some other films, at some other films and uh, Q&A's this week. Don't miss the films because they are great. And have a good night.